Microsoft Microsoft Tool. Welcome to another Microsoft Microsoft Tool. Today I'm going to teach you how to add your very own energy consumer. So we're going to be doing it for the block breaker today. Uh, using the Forge Energy uh, one uh, kind of energy API. So if you haven't checked out the introduction, make sure to check out the introduction first. So you understand the concepts which we're going to be doing today for the energy consumer. So energy consumer, it consumes energy quite simple so you need something that actually holds the energy we've been using the custom forge energy storage because the forge energy normal one didn't do everything i wanted it to so in the constructor we are going to add this energy storage but like last time if we have a look at the energy cell here i had to i had the tier had it tiered so i'm going to add this again but make sure to take in a chip type now. So chip types uh, type. So that won't change how the work is done. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this dot storage equals a new custom forge energy storage. Custom forge energy storage. We're going to have the one that has the max receive and the max extract. So the capacity is going to be uh, type equals uh, chip types basic. If it's basic, then it's going to be uh, 1 million. Otherwise, it's going to be 5 million. No, if, it, if it's basic, it will just be about uh, 100,000. So 1. And then... Advance would be 500,000. Uh, the max receive, whether it's going to receive energy, this is going to receive energy, it's going to maximum receive a thousand, and the extract is zero. So, what we're going to do is copy over this to here, but we're going to have to not be able to get what type is. We're going to have to just leave it with basic type. Now, because we've got one that takes in the type, we're going to have to go into the block breaker. Uh, class and we need to find where we create the tile entity and I'll just bring up how did I do the other one the energy cell here it is here and that will just make sure it puts in the right chip type so we've got our storage we now need to obviously write the storage so this dot storage dot read from mbt and here it's uh, this dot storage dot write to MBT, and now we've read and read from MBT. That is our MBT done. What we're going to do is, like I mentioned on the document, it's going to use twenty RF per break, and it's going to uh, use five RF passively. So here we're going to do the passive one. So this dot storage dot, and what we're going to do is going to take energy. And the energy is going to take 5, R, uh, 5 RF or 5 FE. It's the same thing, really. Passively. And then in break block, what we're going to do, if we've successfully broken the block, we're going to do this.storage. Extract energy internal 20 and it's false, like so. So we've got it so it handles the energy now we need to actually get the capabilities so i think right near the bottom we have our capabilities uh for forge capabilities are just simple as just if capability is the capability energy but when we get onto stuff like tesla it's actually uh different they have three different types of capabilities for energy but this one's just defaultly one so here we're going to return T, we're going to cast the uh, storage to T, like so. And if I just copy this again, I can say, or actually I could put it in an or statement here, if capability is equal to um, capability energy dot energy, like so. So that now means we have our capability set up. And it will now consume energy, which is brilliant. So, let's head over to the block breaker. 
we now need to add the init GUI because it's a button. I haven't managed to fix the issue with um, clicking the ng bar yet because this is recorded right after the previous video. So what we need to do is we need to store an energy bar. So private energy bar, energy bar. And what we're going to do is initialize it here. So this dot energy bar equals a new energy bar. We need a second method. The button ID is going to be zero is the first button. The X and Y is here. So X is centered onto the screen and then uh, 16 to the right. That's 16 texture space. Uh, the what's it? No, that's just the width. So width is 18. Height is 54. The energy and the capacity will just initialize to zero again. And we need to add it to the button list. Like so. And then all we need to do here is do this dot uh, energy bar sync data. Uh, this dot te dot get parsed and then it's null for the sign. Actually it has to be side so it's enum facing I'm just going to do north because you have to state a side um, so we synced it here so I'll just add the sync thing here as well that's how we were syncing the uh, other part of it the cooldown and that lot for the progress bar so we can sync the energy bar and what we can do is we want to make sure when it's hovered, it's going to say how much energy is inside of it, similar to the, uh, where's the GUI, GUI energy cell. So what we're going to do is we can actually copy the code directly uh, for this bit. If we moused over, uh, it's that big, well, if we moused over, we're going to do that, but then we're not going to add the energy difference thing on the end. Uh, like so, I believe. Like so. And if we get rid of this bit here, that will fix that up so it displays our energy correctly. Um, the correct energy and capacity. And I believe that is it. We'll now start using uh, energy, which is super awesome. Okay, so the game's loaded up. So inside the test world, we should now be able to see that the block breaker will now use energy to run. Uh, so this is actually getting power. As we can see, this is getting power from the neighbouring block, uh, which is nice. Power. So if I place... I believe it was this one on the right. You can see that it's now losing five constantly. And if I say get a cobblestone generator, so lava, water. Okay, we should see it goes to 25 when it breaks. That didn't go to 25. So let's imagine that we haven't got this block anymore. So this is just draining its internal buffer now. Um, oh, I didn't see it. 105 so that's pretty sharp because you got five efficiency 20 for breaking it five passively 
So that's 70 at 20, that's about 95, which, which is about roughly what it's doing. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, don't like, comment and subscribe, I am out.